Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. Really quick, I first want to say thank you so much for tuning in and hopefully you guys enjoy the videos. If you have not done so yet, please subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any of the current or future uploads. Thank you guys so much, let's get into the video. We're going to be working on installing an exhaust here for the Resto Gen, and as you guys saw in the previous upload, if you watched it, there was a little bit of a problem with the exhaust being able to get it out from under the cab, basically right here. It's where the transmission portion of the exhaust kind of winds through. Well, between that going past the transmission, then doing like a straight 90 degree, then to another 90, it seems like connecting to the exhaust side of the turbo up here, it's just too much of a bend and we need to cut the exhaust right down there basically straight down from the turbo so that is what we're going to be doing today we've got a new saw i know master forge some people hate them some people love them whatever i only use it for cutting exhaust so i didn't really think it was really necessary to get like a full-blown construction worthy you know lifetime style saw when i'm just going to use it for an exhaust like once every other month anyway so we got the saw we got the exhaust i haven't opened the exhaust up yet hopefully i don't regret that now that my other exhaust is already off the truck but we're going to get to opening the exhaust and hopefully all the pieces are there and then we can get to cutting that one and getting the new one installed we do appear to have the proper down pipe and all of the other piping associated with the kit so we're going to proceed with cutting the exhaust where it needs to be cut and getting that taken out of the truck to get this new one installed First half of the exhaust is in, second half of the exhaust ready to go. Well, we did get the new exhaust installed on the truck and it's ready for its first startup. So let's get this door open. We were gonna take the bumper off the back. However, the bumper will not come off because of these two big, I think they're like one and a half inch nuts right on the end. It's not just the three here and the three here. There's actually two big ones right here in the center. So that's not going anywhere until I can get a big wrench to get a pipe and break those loose because my impact couldn't do it. Door opened up here so we don't fumigate ourselves, get the truck started up, back it out. And we're actually gonna try to work on swapping the bed over to this truck today. Now I had the battery disconnected so it didn't kill it because there's no doors on it. Um, so let's see if this thing fires up. that socket everybody knows you're always looking for the 15 millimeter along with the 10 and the 13 and the 18 so this truck actually before if you didn't see the previous video had a complete factory exhaust still on the truck this is the first time it's been straight piped at least to my knowledge and yeah sounds pretty good I do have the exhaust aiming a little bit down right now just because I want to make sure I know where the bed sides line up before permanently putting it in place. But everything is tightened up front to back, but I'm probably going to take it to an exhaust shop to have it all welded in spots. I know it doesn't look like anything right now, people. I understand. <laughs> It will soon though, I promise, it will soon. And if you haven't kept up with the LNP Homestead videos, we are working on building a chicken mansion right now. I was gonna put the shocks on the truck, however, I don't have the rear set in yet, I only have the fronts. And since I only have the fronts in right now, I'm probably gonna wait on that until after it's back from paint, unless I happen to get the shocks in within the next day or two. Now I am gonna let that truck run for a little bit because it hasn't ran in probably about a week, so I'm gonna let it run a little bit, but we're gonna go get the white parts truck. It hurts to call it a parts truck because it's just so nice, but we're gonna go get the white parts truck, back it into the barn, and get the bed pulled up off that truck, hopefully flawlessly. We don't have any issues. and. 
into all as well. Once I get the parts off of the parts truck, I'm gonna be putting all the bad parts onto the parts truck and then I'm gonna be selling it as an actual parts truck again to somebody else after I find out whether or not I wanna use any of the interior out of it. The only thing is that truck that we're restoring right now, the resto gen has a cracked dash in a couple places and the thing is, the dash out of the white truck is obviously red. So I don't know if I can take that dash out and paint it black to just make it a neutral color since I'm probably gonna do black leather seats or if you can't really paint those. But if you can take all the little plastic black trim off of it, take the vents out and just separate the actual red part of the dash itself from everything else and paint it black, I would love to know because I would love to be able to do that so I can use that perfect dash and put it in that truck. Well, here's our beautiful parts truck and all of its beautiful glory. <laughs> Actually, it looks like I left the key in the truck now that I'm looking at it. Um, but yeah, but just look at this dash. No cracks, no blemishes, all the gauges and everything in it work. I think except for the radio. But like everything's just like so clean and crisp and, you know, like factory nice. I mean, really nice. Same with the door panels. The door panels are a little bit on the boring side with manual windows and all that jazz. But in reality, this is all just plastic except for this one little part's rubber. But this is all just plastic, like hard plastic. And I could probably paint all that. Now, if the dash would come out separate from this portion of it, which it should, I could paint the entire dash and it sounds cringy when you say it. If you trust me, I think I could do a very good job at it and it would really make that truck look good. And I'm really debating whether or not I wanna keep that truck as like a personal truck for me when I'm done with it and get rid of the wife's white one, which is now my new daily driver, but I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section below. First startup in two or three weeks. Fired right up. Perfect. That's what I'm saying, guys. It hurts so much to call this a parts truck. It is just so nice. All of the bed bolts are out of the parts truck. There are all of the bolts for the bed. I just threw them in there just to know that those are the bolts that go into the bed for this truck. Since I'm going to be putting this on the blue truck, we're gonna get our hoist thrown back up in the air, get it all hooked up in the best possible way so that when we lift the bed, it doesn't flex a bunch or you know, wrinkle any of the fender sides or anything like that. So we're gonna take it real slow, try to lift this thing up and not damage anything. Um, because as you can see, the body lines are super straight and crisp and clean. The tailgate's even nice under the, other than that little tiny paint chipping there that's caused a little surface rust. But I mean, the thing is just so, so straight and narrow. So I'm gonna try to set the camera up here on a ladder and see if we can get this done on the camera and not damage anything. set on the truck nothing is bolted down yet but it does look like the exhaust landed in about the right place um, it looks a lot lower than it is but um, it did land in about the right perfect place we do have to line up some bolt holes to get the bolts ran so the beds at least in place Miguel did tell me though only to put about four of the bolts in not all eight just because he is gonna have to unbolt it and he's gonna slide it back a few feet and prop up the rear end so he can get up behind the cab to sand and paint here and also to sand and paint the back of the bed. That way if somebody does ever take the truck apart down the road, it is completely blue everywhere, not like 
spots just totally missed. So um, let's get to bolting this bed down in place. I didn't wire up the tail lights. Pretty much anything that wires up to the bed. I didn't even reconnect the fuel set up like the spout where you fill up your fuel just because um, he's going to have to move the entire bed. You can see that it is up in there. Um, it's just not tightened up or screwed into place just because he is gonna have to move the bed back and he's also gonna have to take off the bumper just to slide the bed back so he can do it the right way. But it is bolted with four bolts, just the four front bolts, two on this side, two on that side, the easy to get two ones. It just looks good, it's nice and flush, it looks great. I do think we're gonna go with this entirely blue again. I did consider the two-tone, but I just think it'll look better if it's all blue. I just think it'll look great. Two-tone would be awesome too, I just feel like I've already had it in my mind being all blue, and so I got to see it all blue, you know what I'm saying? I do need to run though, because Reagan and I have to go upload some videos and do some other work, but I just want you guys to know that the giveaway for the first gen out there is ending on May 7th. So you guys have two weeks left to enter to win this truck. Every $5 is five automatic entries towards winning this truck plus $5,000 cash. And one other big announcement, my wife Reagan just launched her first ever truck giveaway and it is a super stellar truck. Now this giveaway is not on my website, it's on her website. And let me quickly explain how this works. This is a completely separate giveaway. So if you enter to win her truck and you go to lmpgear.com and you enter to win my truck, you are entered to win two different trucks and two different prizes. Now, legally speaking, you could win both trucks. We are separate businesses. They're under different business entities and LLCs. They are completely separate and their own thing. So if you wanna enter to win my truck and enter to win her truck, you can totally do that and you're eligible for both. Her website is dieselbabegear.com. There's a link down in the description to her website as well as her YouTube channel. And there's also a link down in the description for my website if you're wanting to enter to win for the first gen. Now you can enter for both trucks or just one or the other, whatever fits your taste, but her giveaway did just go live today. So if you wanna get entered, Every $5 is five entries to win her truck as well, but her five for five deal ends after the first week is over. So get in while you can, guys. Thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you so much for supporting Reagan. We highly appreciate you and couldn't do this without you. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. You wanna take home this truck? Go to lmpgear.com because every $5 right now is five entries to win this truck plus $5,000 cash and it all ends on May 7th.